But if you've been wearing dentures for like 30, 40 years, you may not have enough bone. But you say that's not the case in your practice. Randy, there's a lot of misinformation about um, available bone because a number of these individuals are told from their dentist or from someone else that they don't have enough bone. And the reality is in this day and age, uh, we can do many things to build bone back if we need to, whether it's height or width or both. Uh, in other words, a certain bone volume that's needed to put these little anchors, these screws into. Uh, or better yet, in a number of situations, uh, we don't even need to graft any additional bone because we have uh, three-dimensional technology, uh, radiography, cone beam radiology that allows us to see exactly the available bone. And in many of those cases, we can place implants in a very strategic way to still anchor the teeth. Okay, good. Now, this is your topic, right? I guess you could bore me out of my mind. You could talk for hours and days about bone. Is that right? I mean, I, this is your topic. Yes, this is what yes. you teach and lecture about. Yes. So, but there's kind of older school oral surgeons, right? Yes. That do it one way, and then there's the way you do it. Is that fair to say? It is. It is. In and, fact, and, what I did 25 years ago, I don't do today. So, you know, we all have to keep up with the current technologies that are available to us. So as a result, were a number of situations where I would have subjected my patient to bone grafting, um, don't have to do that today. Nice. And it's very remarkable because of, again, the wherewithal that we have at our fingertips to utilize. 